Cool 98.7 Bismarck Man Dan's greatest hits. Tom Petty, don't do me like that. It's Wish with you at 821. And joining me now, I've got Virgil Hill in studio. It's very nice to talk to you again. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Very good. Caitlin Wernick from the Bismarck Event Center is here as well. She'll join me again tomorrow, right, Caitlin? Oh, I'll be here tomorrow. Wernick Wednesdays. Woo woo! That's right. They're coming <laughs> back. All right. So on Thursday, we've got the Badlands Brawl. And uh, I'm very excited about it. And, and Virgil's just uh, generally, we spoke about it a couple weeks ago, but. Tell us again, what can people expect from the Badlands Brawl? Because we should see some pretty good fights. Yeah, a really good fight. Uh, uh, Ronnie Cruz came in from California. Uh, Jose Soto. Uh, another kid that I train, um, Frankie Lopez, who's undefeated. He'll be here. Uh, the Red the red Rooster from Grand <laughs> Forks. He'll be here. So, yeah, we got a re- uh, really good uh, stable of fighters that are going to be fighting on this card. As well as we have an amateur pro am, we have an amateur fights prior to the, the main fights. All right, we're talking with boxer Virgil Hill now. One of the best stories. Now we just recently had a new fighter enter the Badlands Brawl, and I need Caitlin to help me tell the story <laughs> because right now at the Bismarck Event Center, you've got the Missouri River Festival going on. We do indeed. And so you've got some people in town traveling with all these rides and stuff, and. Then what? How, how is this Missouri River Festival related to the Badlands Brawl? Because all of a sudden, they've become intertwined. They do indeed. Well, like Virgil said, we have yeah, there'll be amateur fights at the Badlands Brawl before the professional fights. They'll start at 5 o'clock. And we were over there visiting with some of the people at the carnival, and they were setting up. And this one guy that's a carnival worker, he's like, well, I'm a boxer. Is there any openings? Can I hop in and fight in this amateur fight? And, of course, we had to ask him, you know, well, do you have your card? Is that Virgil? Yeah, you're, that, you're, you have to have a, a card you know, to your fight? Your book, your amateur book and stuff. And, and, and we're like, do you have gloves, all that? He's like, oh, yeah, travel with it. And he's got it all. So we made a few phone calls, and sure enough, he is going to box in the amateur fights. So he never would have thought that this guy that's from the carnival would make his way to the Badlands Brawl on Thursday. So basically, this guy who was working the carnival wanted to fight, but you said, hey, you need all this paperwork. He happened to just have it with him, like, in his truck, and he's fighting in the Badlands Brawl. (laughs) Virgil, (laughs) Virgil, this has to be, like, the greatest underdog story ever. It is totally. I'm going to watch it myself. Oh, my Lord. Is Is it common for, like, a boxer to carry all that stuff with them? Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, it is not. And um, but it's very interesting. I, I'm, I'm interested to see myself uh, exactly. And I heard he looks. He's pretty. He, he looks, he's. Yeah, yeah, I mean he's, like he's strong and he's stout and he he's like, well, I'm a welterweight, and of course, me not yeah. knowing as much about boxing, I'm like, well, what is that? And he <laughs> says, well, like 140 to 145. Yeah. Oh, he could fight me. Yeah. Who's gonna win? Yeah. Well, you are because you're about five feet taller, taller than him. Than him. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little short. <laughs> All right, interesting. <laughs> but he looks like a boxer. Like he's solid. He's built. But short. But short. I'm not really built short. though, so maybe it'll be an even fight. It would be a it, Tommy Hearns fight. See, right I don't there. have my card or anything though, so I can't get in there. We can get you card. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sixty okay. bucks, bang, zoom, you're in there. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Now, Virgil, I have to ask you: when you're in town, when you're in Bismarck, what's your favorite thing to do, kind of across the state and, and in Bismarck? Just like riding around, looking at homes and places, and you know, we drove up to the capital and uh, we're gonna do some visiting up there. We're gonna be out in Medora this weekend because uh, Bill Sorensen is getting a huge award out there and stuff. So, yeah, I just like riding around and just reminiscing. All right, and Caitlin, how can people get tickets to the Badlands Brawl? They can go to etix.com or the Bismarck Event Center box office, or they can call the number there at the Bismarck Event Center too for the box office that works as well so anybody wants to come it's going to be a great time we've got ringside tables still available too if anybody's interested in being right next to the action because that's the best spot right Virgil absolutely that's the best spot in the house and there's tickets absolutely. still available so just call the Bismarck Event Center box office or visit etix.com and just to double check with you again Virgil because I know you came out of retirement once you're not fighting on Thursday absolutely are you absolutely not I am on the other side of that all right very Promotions good motions and training All right, Virgil Hill and Caitlin Warning, Badlands Brawl, Thursday night Bismarck Event Center. Thanks so much for stopping by this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you.